five ideas that improved my Obsidian workflow. Since uploading my first video on Obsidian, I received questions and feedback on how to improve my Obsidian workflow, which I really appreciate. If you haven't seen that video, please have a look so you'll have a better understanding of my view of Setocaston and Obsidian. Based on this feedback, I've implemented five new features to improve my workflow. These features have helped me to speed up my workflow and better organize my notes so I can focus on generating ideas. I'm happy to share these with you. I am someone who likes learning new techniques and tools to help improve my workflows and systems. If you want more videos about these subjects, please remember to subscribe. iOS shortcuts. My current workflow is consume content from YouTube, Reddit, books, and blogs, capture high level notes using Apple notes via my iPhone, manually create detailed source notes in Obsidian, generate ideas, create permanent notes from new ideas in Obsidian, review notes to generate more research and ideas, create original content from these permanent notes. A viewer commented that he was having problems integrating Google Keep with Obsidian. If anyone can help him, please leave a comment below. But this got me thinking if I can simplify my workflow. Since Obsidian does not have a mobile app, I decided to capture my notes using iOS shortcuts and send it directly to Obsidian. I did this by creating a shortcut that does the following. Asking the user to select a type of content. Asking for a title. Asking for the contents. Asking for tags, creating a file name with Zettelkasten ID, capture the relevant inputs together into a file, rename the file using the Zettelkasten ID, storing the data to the iCloud folder location that keeps my Obsidian notes. Let me show you what it looks like on my phone. I select a content type, enter title, enter the actual notes, Enter the tags, make sure you add hashtags. Save the note. On Obsidian, the file will appear without needing to refresh the application. Source type notes. As part of my source notes, I've started to capture the content type of the note. To do this, I've created a note for each content type and each source note links back to those notes. So if I want to see all my YouTube content, I can go to the YouTube note and see all the links related to it. By linking the content type to the source note is proven useful when I want to find a certain content type. Source note template. To ensure that source notes that I created are structured correctly and consistently, I've incorporated a template that I always use. By using a template, it has helped me to deconstruct the key information from the content and prompts me to think about what I'm consuming. I've added the template as a starred note. Starring a note can be activated by going to plugin and selecting starred option. To star a note, select the three dots and select star. Once starred, the note can be quickly located on the starred tab next to search. I've also found you can star searches, which I use to save searches that I use regularly. Today's notes. To fully benefit Obsidian, you need to create notes regularly. Inputting good quality notes into Obsidian will make it more likely to create good ideas. Another viewer asked about how today's note functionality can be incorporated as part of the Zittle Custom workflow. I've started using today's notes as a dashboard to remind me to add notes every day. To switch on this feature, go to settings, then plugins, and finally to daily notes. In plugin settings, you can also add which folder to store daily notes and use of that template. My daily notes templates has links at the top to other daily notes. It then asks me about the different content types I've consumed. I link them to the source notes that we're relevant. Having daily notes acts as a dashboard to quickly see if there are days where I'm not capturing any notes. Outlining. One note taking method I enjoy is outlining. I create topics and subtopics to create notes in a structured way. Obsidian has the functionality to support this method. The first way is by using Markdown to define topics and subtopics as headings. To use this functionality, first switch on Fold Headings on the editor settings. When typing the headings in notes, start with a hashtag with space. 
The different number of hashtags captures headings at different levels. By doing this, you can hide text by pressing the folding tab. The second method is to use fold indent settings on the editor. Users can create folded structure by using tabs to indent the lines. Once you start creating notes with outlining, you can enable the outlining plugin. Outlining plugin allows users to jump between headings in larger notes. Obsidian has many functions and plugins to improve your idea creation workflow. I'm using iOS shortcuts to add source notes into Obsidian from my phone, making it quicker to capture notes while I'm away from my laptop. I've created a type index note to classify my source notes into different content types. By doing this, it has allowed me to find different content types notes quicker than I usually would. I've created templates to structure my source notes consistently. Using templates has helped me to improve the quality of the notes I create. I use today's notes plugins as a dashboard to ensure I regularly add source notes. Having a dashboard helps me build up my knowledge system quicker. I use the outlining method and obsidian functionality to make it easier to capture notes in a bullet structure. I hope I've given you enough ideas to optimize your obsidian workflow. If you have any more ideas, let me know. Remember, if you're interested in seeing more techniques and tools to improve your workflows and systems, please subscribe, like, and notify to see more videos. Thank you for watching.